when we connect spiritually and really get that pure guidance, our hearts are open. There's unity, there's harmony, there's a connectedness with humanity. And then we be from this space. And then we do from the beingness space. Hey, my sweet, how are you today? I'm checking in on you and letting you know that I'm here. If you want to be in direct connection, please DM me. Um, you know, I think that so often I feel like I got to show up with some um, inspirational message and positive message, which for the most part comes pretty naturally from me. And today I decided to just show up with where I'm at in the possibility that you might be in a similar space. And I'm hurting. I'm, my heart hurts. I'm sad. I know so many other, I'm not going to speak for anyone, um, but it, maybe your heart is hurting and is sad. I'm feeling sad, scared. I don't know if confused is exactly the right word. Um, definitely like wanting to do something or say something at the same time, being afraid to do it or say it wrong. Um, feeling undereducated about like what I think I know or what I thought I know and or what not knowing what I don't know. And I just decided today to not be silent and to do what I know to do. And I know that isolating doesn't usually help when someone is feeling sad or afraid or scared um, and in not knowing what to do. I think better together is, is definitely, it feels better to be connected. I know um, for different friends that I've checked in on, they've been grateful for it and said that that helped. And um, this is only a message about uniting, about connecting, about being seen, being loved, and having, um, I don't know, d d finding the place of compassion in us for all of the unthinkable that is going on for so many people. And um, and th the real truth is I don't really know what to say um, other than it hurts. It hurts to see any form of mistreatment of any kind. I mean, my God, we normally we talk here about a range of like setting boundaries and personality disorders. And, you know, this is obviously so, so, so disconnected from the soul of humanity. Um, and it's not the first time and it's not the only time and it's not the only place. I guess I just let this be a reminder to me on the preciousness of life and the preciousness of humans and getting even better at appreciating life and getting even better at treating people even better, um, loving more deeply and not just when it's easy and fun and convenient, but really finding ways to deepen the, the human connection because when we're connected, when we're human to human, 
you can't you can't have the the anger and the rage and the fear and the separation we just we get the divinity in each other we get the humanity in each other we get the similarities in each other and um i also though in this i don't i don't want to feel lost or, or helpless or hopeless and i want to support you in not feeling that way either so i'm not gonna um even try to to get anything right here as much as I am working to keep my heart open, to not shut down, to not choose division, to not choose fear. Um, and I'm afraid. I'm afraid for this world and I'm afraid for people that I know and love and I'm afraid for people that I don't know that I choose to love and... Um, I just don't want to get stuck in, um, something that is not intended for me to get to, to be stuck in. And what I mean by that is, um, any form of emotional paralysis. So this is allowing me to who someone who is in a safe environment right now to appreciate the crinkle of the fall leaves on the trees and the dinner that I'm going to be making with my husband tonight and to you who we're on this journey together we're on the planet at the same time where women were women on our wealth journey, on our personal development journey, on our spiritual journey. And um, not, that the, not that we're on a political journey together, but we're on a, a, a journey where the politics of the time are seemingly louder than, than yours and my voice then the, the, the values that we share, the, the hopes that we have, the ways of being that we believe in. And so I'm not preaching, I'm not suggesting, I'm not recommending. If anything, I'm just reminding. Reminding you that you matter, that you're important, that whatever you're feeling, um, feel it. Feel it. It's part of queenhood. Part of being a queen is not being a princess and just ignoring and, you know, um, and if you choose to read the papers or watch the media, and if you choose to not read the papers and watch the media, that is completely between you and, and your spiritual guidance. I'm not making a recommendation one way or another. I just, from, uh, from a perspective of queen, I think that the princess wants everything to be perfect all the time. And the queen has the, the wisdom and the ability to feel the feels and to know that um, emotionally, it's not always summer. And there are different seasons in our life. And collectively, we are clearly entering a season that is going to require a higher level of consciousness to access higher and more evolved options. We're entering a season where um we have choices and we have choices in how we're going to show up in our individual lives that leads to the collective. We have choices on how we're going to use our gifts, our talents, our voice, our platform. Um, 
I think the another reminder that I want to say as we journey is that if as women we could be really, really generous with each other. Um, I think that there's going to be people that well-intentioned people that are going to say things that are not going to land well for others. I think there's going to be people that don't say things that also is not going to land well for others. And judgment isn't going to help. I think the more that we all can go within and really, really deeply ask for your spiritual guidance, how am I meant to serve? How is my life meant to be used? What would you have me say or not say? And what would you have me do or not do? And to remember that we don't get to make a judgment on another's life without it negatively affecting that person and us. But what I know for sure is that if we all go within and really connect spiritually, and mind you, this is not about religion of what I'm talking about. When we connect spiritually and really get that pure guidance, our hearts are open. There's unity, there's harmony, there's a connectedness with humanity. And then we be from this space. And then we do from the beingness space. And we don't know someone else's destiny. So to judge, to compare, to finger point, to say someone should be being different, maybe even they should be. It's still ours not to judge. I think that we all have a full-time job listening to our own intuition, really getting clarity. Is that my voice? Is that ego? Is that the whispers of the divine? And this is where our focus needs to be. And when we do that, each of us will be used in our own mighty ways, in our own brilliant ways, in our own unique ways. And if we trust that, if we trust that people will go within and seek source, seek direction, seek contribution, how can my life be used? You're going to find your way. I know that, that I found mine. Um, you know, I was sitting there like glued to whatever screen and almost just in shock, in horror, in disbelief, in feeling like this is surreal or that this is not real. And, um, and then I just had to like, how can I use this? Like, how can I use this? Like I'm sitting here on my couch, not being of service. No, this isn't helping me and this isn't helping anyone. Like, what's in me? And when I prayed and I asked, I got to do a podcast. And so that's what I'm doing. And is it enough? No. And is it going to end here? No. But this was the next step that I was given. And sometimes that's all we're given. And as women of faith, sometimes patience is required to get the clarity. Um, Sometimes the message comes through instantly and sometimes we've got to wait. But what I know is that if you're seeking divine guidance, you will find it. You will find it for you. You will find it for your life. You will find it for world affairs. And 
you will let your life be used as the light that it is meant to be in this very, very, very dark time. So let's say a prayer. <sighs> Dear God, for all of the hurting hearts, for those in agonizing pain, for those in unthinkable fear, for those experiencing the unimaginable. We ask that your spirit would surround us and fill us individually and collectively as humanity. We pray for healing. We pray for peace. We pray to be lifted into your ways. Your scriptures say that your ways are not our ways, that your ways are higher than our ways. May our hearts, our minds, and our consciousness be lifted to a much higher place where we would all see each other as you see us, that we would treat each other as you treat us, that we would live and walk and experience truth with a capital T, the truth that leads to freedom, the truth that is love, the truth that we are all one. Open the eyes of our hearts so that we could see in a new way and that we could see with far deeper love that we would come together in humanity in the way that you have intended. I pray for those of us that have received the gift of life today that we would not take it for granted, that we would not take advantage of it just being one more day on the planet. We are asking, how can our lives be used? In bigger ways, in more profound ways, in simple ways, in ways that make a difference in the lives of who we're meant to make a difference in. We are asking for our lives to be used today and always. We are asking that you show us how to place our focus on you and your guidance and your love and your direction. We ask that you show us how to surrender more deeply to any of the fear-based thoughts, the lower vibrations, the limitations that we have placed on ourselves and others. Show us how to experience the freedom individually and collectively for every living human and being that we would all learn the love the peace, the power, and the freedom that you have intended for each and every one of us. And we pray this believing. Amen. Amen, amen, my loves. So I will leave you with this. Pray, continue to pray for how your life is meant to be used. If you'd like to connect, please DM me on Instagram. That is just me. It's not my team. I know a lot of people write in and say, you think it's my team. Um, it's me. And, and let's stay connected with each other, shall we? Sending you and everyone so much love.